Hey guys, so it's marathon season and that can be a little bit daunting or overwhelming if you've never done it before. You might not know where to start when it comes to how to get ready. So today we have Erin. She's a healthy living director with the Y and she's going to help us out. Okay, she's going to help me out a lot. So what is your number one tip you give to someone that's wanting to run in a race? So the first thing you need to do is plan what race you want to run. Okay. Make sure you have ample time to train. If you plan or if you want to run a particular race, but there's just not enough time, maybe pick another one that you have time to train for. You want to make sure that you have enough time so that you don't get injured, yeah. you know, and cause problems. Because that could be, you know, that's one of my issues is that once I start something, I go really, 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 really hard, really, really fast, and then I end up getting hurt, and then I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> right, or you can't do it anymore. Exactly, I get hurt. So what is another tip that you have? So you really want to think about what you're going to wear. For, okay. You know, train in the clothing you think you want to wear for the race. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you don't have any cotton-heavy clothing. Okay. That just sucks up moisture and it gets really heavy and it yeah. doesn't let your body regulate. It's so aerodynamic when I run super duper fast. <laughs> so any moisture wicking clothes yeah. would be great. Anything that's going to dry out really quickly and can okay. help you regulate your body temperature. Gotcha. Sunglasses are great for the sun mm -hmm. or the rain. Hats are great for the sun or the rain. Just Perfect. make sure again they're light hats. They're not cotton hats. They're not going to, you know, hold the heat in right. and weigh you down. Yeah. Okay. So now what about when it comes to food? Because that's a huge part of that training. It's not just, you know, the weightlifting and running and all that, you have to right. take care of your body too. Absolutely. So you actually want to, as much as you train for your run, you want to you want to train your body with your food. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're eating exactly what you know you want to eat before the race. Mm -hmm. Don't don't experiment with new foods right before the race. Right. You're going to have tummy problems. That would and be it's a disaster. Gonna, <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to, it's going to, it's not going to be fun. Right. Um, so make sure you're eating carbo-rich foods, yep. a lot of protein, a lot of water. Um, if you have Gatorade, mix it in with the water, okay. get rid of some of the sugar, um, but it's a great electrolyte replacement. Gotcha. And so now what if you're kind of struggling with actually getting out there? You suggest we have accountability partners to make sure we keep it in check? Yeah. Grab a friend, join a group. Yep. The Winston YMCA actually hosts a running group. It's free oh, to the community, cool. members, non-members. Um, and just having someone there to hold you accountable for your training. It's so yeah. easy. We've all done it where we said, eh, I'm too tired. Right. I don't want to. Yeah, there's a cloud in the sky. I might rain. <laughs> so make sure you grab a friend. Perfect. And so what about the last minute tips, things you need to remember at the very end? So let's talk about the day before the race. Okay, so day before, make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Okay. Eight ounces every two hours or so. Um, you're eating a carbo-rich meal. Make sure you're getting plenty of sleep. Mm -hmm. Stick to your normal schedule. Don't change your schedule. Okay. Um, if you get too much, too little sleep, that's yeah. okay. Your adrenaline's gonna be going. Right. Um, try not to get too much sleep, mm -hmm. oversleep, all that fun stuff. Make sure you're prepared. Pack your bag the night before. Don't okay. wait until it's time to head out the door for the race. Right. You're gonna forget something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And so now after the race, you've done all the hard work and now what's next? Hydrate. Okay. Plenty of water. Again, mix in that Gatorade, mm -hmm. replace the sodium, replace the electrolytes, um, have a protein-rich meal okay. within 45 minutes to an hour mm -hmm. afterwards. Make sure you have that, that you're stretching and you're taking care of your body. If you need to right. change clothes, change clothes. If it's cold out, put on some warm clothes. If you're soaking wet from sweating, right. dry out. You know, just take care of yourself and always yeah. stretch. So overall, let's just be responsible adults here <laughs> and make sure we prepare, we stretch afterwards, and most of all, have a good time. Exactly. Right? So we want to keep in touch with you and make sure that you're keep holding up your end of the deal. All you have to do is post your pictures of you working out, training for your marathon, or whatever race you're running, and use the hashtag FirstPostFitFam so we can keep track and we can watch you because we're all in this together.